Lesson and homework, lesson 3.11. Problem solving, add and subtract money. Number one, Dory and Jack decided to go bowling. They each need to rent shoes and one lane. And Jack is a member. If Jack pays for both of them with $20, what change should he receive? So Jack is paying for one lane and shoes for both himself and his friend Dorian. So he needs to buy and also mentions that he is a member. So for his shoes it's gonna cost two ninety five and for his friend Dorian's shoes it can cost three ninety five. The land's gonna cost seven fifty. So if we add all those values up, we're gonna get fourteen forty. And now it says that Jack paid with a twenty dollar bill so if we subtract 20 from 1440, we should get our change, which is 560. Natalie and her friends decided to rent four lanes at regular cost for a party. 10 people need to rent shoes. 10 people need to rent shoes. And four people are members. Four of those 10 people are members. What is the total cost for the party? Well, we have four people who are members buying shoes. So that's 295 times 4. And the other 6 are buying at regular cost. So that's 295 times 6. Then Natalie and her friend are going to rent 4 lanes at regular cost. So 4 lanes at regular cost. So I'm going to multiply all these values out, then add them together. So I have 295 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 9 times 4 is 36. Plus 2 is 38. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 1180. Now over here for the regular cost, 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 9 is 54. Plus 3 is 57. 57, my bad. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 13. Now over here, 9.75 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 7 times 4 is 28. Plus 2 is 30. 9 times 4 is 36. Plus 3 is 39. So we have 39 plus, I'm just going to put it right here, 1370. And then plus 1180. Like that. We add up all the zeros. That's 0. 7 plus 8 is 15. We have a 9 right here. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13, plus 1 more is 14. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then plus 1 is 6. So, the total cost for the party is going to be $64.50. Use the following information to solve 3 through 5. Number 3. Natalie's group brought in pizzas. But is buying the drinks at the concession stand. Concession stand. How many medium sodas can Natalie's group buy with twenty dollars? Medium sodas. Make a table to show your answer. Well, we're here at the concession stand. Medium sodas cost a dollar twenty-five. Hot dogs cost two fifty. So we're only buying medium sodas, and we're using twenty dollars. So if we want to find out how many drinks we can buy with a dollar twenty-five, and we only have twenty dollars. We know that one drink is going to be our drinks. This is going to be the price right here. Be the price, and this would be D for drinks. One drink is a dollar twenty-five. The next drink is going to be a dollar twenty-five, so it's going to be one point two five plus one point two five.
that's going to give us 5 plus 5 is 10. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Carry down the 1, 1 is 2.5. 2, two drinks is 2.5, and I'm just going to keep doing that all the way down until I get to $20. So when we get to 9, we, we see that it's $10 to get 9 drinks, and $10 is half of 20. So if we double these two values, we should get $20 on the right-hand side and the amount of drinks we need to buy. So 9 times 2 is 18, and 20 times 2, or 10 times 2 is 20. So we see that we can buy 18 drinks, and that'll give us exactly $20. 18 drinks. Jack bought two medium sodas and two hot dogs. He paid... With $20, what was this change? Well, two medium sodas cost $1.25 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. So $2.50 for the sodas. And two hot dogs. Well, one hot dog costs $2.50 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So the hot dogs cost $5, plus the $2 for these cents. So we got 2.5 plus 5, that's going to give us $7.50. Now we got to subtract that from 20. 20 minus 7.5, is that over here. Because we paid with a twenty dollar bill, and we're trying to see how much we're looking for our change. So I'm gonna regroup really quickly. It's gonna be ten. Ten minus five is five. Nine minus seven is two, and then that should be one right there. That's twelve dollars fifty cents. So our change is twelve dollars and fifty cents. Number five. How much would it cost? to buy three medium sodas and two hot dogs. Well, I'm gonna do this in a different color really quickly. So, three sodas, which are $1.25 each, times three, five times three is 15, okay, the one, three times two is six, plus one is seven, three times one is just three. Then the hot dogs are 250, and we're buying two of them, times 2, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, that's $5. So we need to add $5 to $3.75. These two are going to come down, 5 plus 3 is 8, $8.75. So how much are you going to cost to buy this? It's going to cost me... $8.75. Number six, write math. Write a money problem that shows money being added to and subtracted from a bank account. Let's solve the problem. I have $20 in my bank account. I add $5, but then buy $20 pizza. How much is left? Well, if I have $20 in my bank account and then I add 5 it gives me $25. Now, if I buy something, I'm getting rid of my money or I'm subtracting my money. So I'm subtracting by 20. And that gives me 5. So I have $5 left. $5 left. Lesson check. Number one. Prakrit bought a pack of paper for $5.69 and a printer toner for $9.76. He paid with a $20 bill. What was this change? Well, to see the total cost of the items, we're going to add $5.69 plus $9.76. I'm going to add these two. 9 plus 6 is 15. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. So this is our total cost. This is our total cost. 
Now, if we pay with a $20 bill, we're going to get some change. And we want to know what that change is. So we're going to subtract. I'm going to do a little bit of regrouping. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. So our change is $4.55. Number two, Elise paid for her sandwich and drink with a $10 bill. She received $0.63 in change. The sandwich was $7.75 and sales tax was $0.47. What was the cost per drink? Well, let's see. Let's add together the sandwich and the sales tax. Seven seventy five plus point forty seven. Five plus seven is twelve. Seven plus one is eight. Eight plus four is twelve. Seven plus one is just eight. So that's eight dollars and twenty two cents. Now we know that she had sixty three cents in change. So what we need to figure out is how much her drink was. What we need to do is find out what our total should be. So if we take the $10, subtract the 63 cents that we got, $10 minus 0.63, we should get the total value of all our items. 3, 0, 9, 9, 1. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 6 is 3. Then 9 minus 0 is just 9. So 937 should be equal to 8.22, which is the sandwich and the sales tax, and then plus another number, which should be our drink. Now, if we want to find out how much the drink costs, all we got to do is take 937 and subtract 822. 7 minus 2 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. 9 minus 8 is one that gives a dollar fifteen so we know that our drink was one dollar and fifteen cents spiral review number three tracy has saved four hundred twenty five dollars to spend during her 14 day vacation about how much money can she spend each day well if i want to find out how much money i can spend each day i gotta divide the total number of days and the money that i have so we're going to do 14, or 425 divided by 14. How many times does 14 fit into 4? Well, 0. How many times does 14 fit into 42? That's 3. 14 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Looks like it says 42, 0, drop the 5. Now, how many times does 14 fit into 5? 0. So we're going to add a decimal point and drop down another 5. How many times does 14 fit into 50? Well, that's going to be 3 again. So 3, I guess it's 42. 50 turns to 4, we're regrouping here. 10 minus 2 is 8, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now we're going to drop down the next 0, 80. So how many times does 14 fit into 80? Well, that's going to be 5. 14 times 5, 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5, plus times, or 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, so 70. We get 70. And right here, it's going to keep going for, you know, a couple more decimals. But we get a rough estimate. She, she knows she can spend about $3.35 per day, roughly. For number four, what decimal is one-tenth of 0 0.08? One-tenth of 0 0.08. So this is just some review. We're going to move the decimal to the left. That gives us 0 
eight. And zero point zero eight is one tenth of this number. Number five. Tyrone bought two point twenty five pounds of Swiss cheese and four point two pounds of turkey. At the deli. About how much was the weight of the two items? So we're just gonna add the weights of the two items to figure out the total. The total weight. Five plus zero is five. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. So we got about six point four five pounds of the two items, and that's the total the total weight of the items. Number six. Shelley ate four point two ounces of trail mix. Marshall ate 4.25 ounces of trail mix. How much more trail mix did Marshall eat? Well, Marshall ate 4.25 and Shelly ate 4.2. So we want to see how much more Marshall ate. We're just going to subtract the both. And so right here, this is Marshall and this is um, Shelly. So 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. So we get 0 0.05. Five ounces of trail mix Marshall is what Marshall ate more than Shelly. So Marshall ate 0.05 ounces more than Shelly did.